So the Jacksonville Jaguars will be playing the Tennessee Titans this Sunday. And I got to be honest, man, Derrick Henry's going to absolutely shred our defense. Oh, wait, Derrick Henry ain't going to be there. But let me let me stop myself because, I mean, A.J. Brown's probably going to shred our secondary. I mean, A.J. Brown ain't going to be there either. Tennessee, get ready for this upset, man. Jacksonville is going to come into Nissan Stadium and we're going to beat y'all. <laughs> Y'all just lost to Houston and New England coming off the bye week? You've got to be kidding me. New England's a great team, but y'all lost to Houston at home? Ain't y'all the same team that lost to the Jets earlier this year? Granted, look, I know that we lost to the Texans. That was the first game of the season. First game, and it was on the road. We ain't lose to Houston at home. And I'm not even trying to compare the Jags to the Titans this year. Talking all this, oh, well, y'all sitting at 2-10. and 10. Bro, we in the first year of a rebuild. We in the first year of a rebuild. Y'all supposed to be a championship level team since 2018 when the Jags fell off and what y'all got to show for it nothing and look I'd feel bad too you know like if if my superstar running back and you know jokes aside I pray for Derrick Henry I hope he's okay man I don't wish ill intent on anybody but do you know how much that would suck if you had a championship level team and your best player got hurt man that would suck but you know what what can go wrong with the Tennessee Titans will go wrong with the Tennessee Titans y'all want all the smoke Jacksonville coming to Tennessee in the Nissan Stadium. We're going to beat y'all this week, man. I mean, but look, the Titans got the number 12 scoring offense in the NFL. You got this Dontrell guy had a huge game coming out of the backfield. 12 carries, 131 yards, and a touchdown versus New England in that blowout loss. And like I said, man, I'm not trying to compare. Jags got absolutely blitzed by the LA Rams. But at the end of the day, man, like, it's the Titans, man. Look, I think Vrabel is a great coach. It just sucks he's got a mid-level quarterback to play with, you know, and granted, y'all have had your injuries too, but like, if I was Vrabel, man, I'd be upset if I had Ryan Tannehill, straight up, like, Ryan Tannehill's a average quarterback at best, like, let's just call this what it is, Ryan Tannehill ain't no great quarterback, he's a system quarterback that has great parts around him, you know, when y'all got Julio Jones, I was like, okay, and you know, he might be back this week, he just got activated off IR, but like, oh, okay, like, Cool, good for y'all. Y'all still got Ryan Tannehill throwing the ball. Y'all are supposed to be this championship-level team since 2018 when the Jags fell off. And, I mean, Ryan Tannehill has done what? Like, really, he's an average Joe. He's not even a Derek Carr or a Kirk Cousins. Like, let's just call it what it is. He might have a little more playoff success than a Kirk Cousins, but Ryan Tannehill's just an average quarterback. You know, he plays in a system, and he really shows his true colors when Derek Henry ain't there, so... Let's just call it what it is. I just feel like being disrespectful today. That's just where I'm at. The Jags, I mean, look, we ain't got too much positives to talk about. But this is just going to be a trap game. Tennessee thinking that they all nice. Oh, yeah, we, we, we ahead of the AFC South. Wow, what a great division. Tennessee is leading the AFC South with an 8-4 and four record. O okay, like, cool. Like, y'all want a pat on the back? Like, here's your little pat on the back. Here, Here's your little trophy. Here you guys go, Tennessee fans. Here's your trophy for uh, winning the AFC South this year. I know Indy's a game behind y'all, but man, bro, like, bro, Houston is an absolute shambles of a franchise right now. And I got a lot of respect for the Texans and Colts fans. Y'all y'all got some mad respect from me. I, I I don't hate Texans or Colts fans whatsoever. But Tennessee fans, y'all on something. Let me, let me just say that. But Houston's in shambles. Jacksonville's in their first year of a rebuild with Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence. And then you got Indy with Frank Reich and Carson Wentz. I mean, Ryan Tannehill and Carson Wentz are probably the most comparable quarterbacks in the NFL. I mean, they're just mid. They're just average. That's just all they are. Okay? Like, like I said, I feel bad for Vrabel, man. He's a great coach. I think he's a great guy, great leader. Just great coach. I would run through a brick wall for that guy if I was playing under Vrabel. But knowing I got Ryan Tannehill, I'd be like, here we go again. So it's just one of those games, man. I don't even need to do a breakdown for this game because I'm just saying I want all the smoke this week. Duval coming in the Nissan Stadium, and we getting that dub. So that's facts. And you know what, man? Big trust. Duval, baby. 904. We we coming. We coming. We, and we coming hard, baby. Ryan Tannehill don't want the smoke, baby. If we get Shaq Griffin out there and Tyson Campbell plays up, it's a wrap, bro. So, Titans fans, I mean, if y'all win, then you know what? I'll eat my words, but Jacksonville coming in there and getting that dub. I'm confident, baby. Big trust, baby.
Woo woo. Jaguar fans, let me know y'all score prediction down below. Titans fans, let me know y'all score prediction down below too, even though I know y'all not going to like this video. I'm going to drop a score prediction. And you know what? I'm going to say the Jags come out there. And, and like I said, they going to surprise Tennessee. They really going to go out there and surprise Tennessee. Jags coming out on top 20 to 13. Y'all heard it here first. Jags beating the Titans 20 to 13. Do ball till we die, baby. Let's go. Jaguar fans, if y'all enjoyed the content, make sure you guys like, turn on notifications, and hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more Jacksonville Jaguars and NBA content that I do here on YouTube. Titans fans, if you guys hated this video, make sure you guys give it a dislike and drop some hate comments down below. I would love to see some. That's it for this video. Brett James, aka BJ. Go Jags, baby. Tuck the fightings. I'd like to give a huge shout out to flteams.com who I've partnered and collab with. At flteams.com, we do sports articles and blogs on the daily regarding sports teams in the state of Florida from the collegiate and at the professional level. If you guys would like to go check out flteams.com, I will link to them down below. And also, don't forget to drop me one of these.